everything's fine. The video shows up, the audio, you can hear everything. But for some reason, every time I go to do the video, something happens. It blacks out. You can't hear it. Or it, it just, for some reason, something keeps happening. And I hope and I pray that this time it does it what it's supposed to. And the only thing that I could think of is they're trying to keep it to where everybody doesn't see it, can't share it, um, can't do a video on it, this, that, and the other. Um, so we're about to try it and see if it works. Here we go. Okay, I hit it. Uh, good morning, everybody. Wanted to come on and talk to you about what's happening and why I'm not in Washington today, why most members of Congress left town yesterday, and uh, why we're not doing anything for the American people. So September 30th, I'm sure you've seen all over the news, September 30th is the funding deadline that Congress has to finish all of our appropriation bills, finish our budget, and fund the government. And... Um, we aren't getting that done, and it's very frustrating to all of us, every single one of us, that we're not getting that done, but I'm particularly frustrated today. Uh, we went home for August recess. See this part right here. I don't understand why why they're not getting anything done, because um, they sent everybody home on recess, okay? So we have a deadline coming September 31st to where the government's going to shut down. But they're going to send our Congress people home on recess? What sense does that make? We should have stayed in Washington working to get our appropriation bills done. But we didn't. We went on August recess, and that's when we're supposed to go back to our districts and get work done in our districts. That's what we did. But we should have stayed in Washington and funded the government and gotten all the work done, hammering out the details. But we have 12 separate appropriation bills. We only had one pass before we went home in August. Now we have 11 left. Well, yesterday, in case you didn't see the news or don't know what happened, while President Zelensky from Ukraine was in Washington begging for more American people's taxpayer dollars, while our border is being invaded, at record levels, and while the Biden administration has welcomed everyone to America illegally, we did not. We were not able to get our bills done. So, so yesterday they decided to bring the defense bill to the floor, and I want to be very clear with all of you. All so she just said that everything going on at the border and all the illegal immigrants coming in is putting a damper on them being able to get the United States bills passed. <clears throat> oh, man. You know, it's just quite crazy to me. I got a couple other things that I want to show you guys that Biden tweeted um, specifically about stuff that's going on. Um and I think it leads to this video because it, it's him talking about Republicans. I mean, I'm not saying there's not corrupt public Republicans because there is. But the main people doing or going against the United States of America and its people are the Biden administration. All week long, as a matter of fact, all year long, I, I have told every single one of my colleagues, I have told the press, I have told my district, I've posted on social media a thousand times, I am not voting for one single penny to go to a war in Ukraine. I am, I'm America first. I work for the United States of America. I work for the American people. Our border is being overrun. overrun. We president have a president of the United States, United States and an administration that is happy and fine with open borders and is bringing in more illegal aliens into America than we can possibly handle. New York is being crushed. Texas has been crushed for a long time. California, Arizona, Georgia, 
Alaska, you name it, all over the country, these illegal aliens are coming into country. our country. So they, so they bring a defense bill to the floor yesterday that had $300 million for Ukraine in it. I told them all week long, I'm not voting for $300 million for Ukraine. Why do they have $300 million in an American bill or funding? You know what I mean? Like that, you're supposed to be getting bills passed to help fund America. But you're going to sit here and you're going to add $300 more million to fund Ukraine? Right? What about us? What about us? What about us? Like, this is ridiculous to me. It's mind blowing. You know, like, that, that's the thing I'm, I was talking about. Like that. Biden's tweeting this stuff. How about it's Republicans' fault that the government's going to shut down? And I'll show you guys here in a minute this week. But no, we're not. You're the problem. Why are you putting three hundred million million to fund Ukraine when we're supposed to be funding us? Craig, take the money out, put it in a separate bill if you want to. And then I can vote no. Other members can vote no. And if you people want to vote to send more money, more American tax dollars to a war in Ukraine, then you vote yes for it. But I'm not doing it. And they didn't listen. And they didn't listen. But she would have passed the bill that they brought to her. She, she wanted to pass this bill. But she's not going to do it if it has funding for Ukraine in it. And I praise Marjorie Taylor Greene for this. She's the only one that it looks like in our Congress that's trying to stick up for the American people. They didn't respect me. They didn't respect other members that were saying the same thing. So they brought the defense bill. Why? Why? You sit here. She sits here and tells them to take it out. And I will vote yes for it. And then they bring it to her still with the $300 million for Ukraine in it. Because they know there's a deadline coming. They know that they're going to put it off on the Republicans. And it being our fault that the government shuts down. But they're going to sit here and put that in the bill after being told to take it out and we passed the bill. The Defense Appropriation Bill, which, by the way, largely, is largely a very good bill. A bill that I want to vote for without the Ukraine money. I would love to vote for that bill without the Ukraine money. No, they didn't take it out. So they brought it, so they brought it to the floor for a vote, and I voted no to the rule. What is all this? Like, what is all this? Why, what are we What are we doing? Why are we so worried about Ukraine and not the American people? Why doesn't Biden actually listen to us? You know, like, doesn't he think that he might need to start going around the country, maybe, and actually talking to actual citizens? Like me, like you, because I'm sure if he would go around doing that, oh boy, <laughs> maybe things would change. Maybe not, because they're so fucking corrupt. I voted no to the rule, and so guess what? It didn't pass. The rule did not pass, and the bill couldn't be brought to the floor. So we couldn't even. That, right there. Biden says it's our fault when in reality it's theirs. Pass the appropriations bill. And then they called me and said, Marjorie, will you vote for it if we take it out? I said, that's what I have been saying all week long. All week long I have been saying, take it out. And I will vote take for it. Out. Take the money out. But they didn't because, like I said, there's a deadline. And they thought the Republicans would vote for the $300 million for to send to Ukraine. Because if they didn't, then 
the United States bill, fund, funding bill, wouldn't get passed. So it's our fault. It's our fault. It's our fault that you were told to take Ukraine money out, funding for Ukraine out of that bill, and we would pass it. I'm sorry, guys. I get upset. I really do. I get upset about this stuff because I don't have the luxury not to worry. And I will vote for it. But they didn't respect me. And they didn't respect other people. So they didn't respect the American people. And that, right there. Right there. The Biden administration knows, knows that American people don't want to send them more money to Ukraine. They know this. But still going to do it. Still going to go against us. And they still brought it to the rule to the floor. <clears throat> Anyways, so, <clears throat> so here we are. So here we are. So I'm at home. Other members of Congress are at home. Some are in Washington. And we're again not getting anything done. And we have the September 30th funding deadline coming up. Now here's here's my issue. This is what I don't understand. Just because there are members in our conference that are in red districts and they and they really want to send money to Ukraine, but they don't want their districts to know that they voted to send money to Ukraine. They don't want to get beat up about it. Does it mean that I have to commit the sin with them? They don't want them to know because they're corrupt. They're part of the problem. Part of what's going wrong in the United States of America right now. You see, I don't have to vote yes and cover up the garbage, the America last garbage that they want to do just to help them get by with it. And that's where I'm really angry this morning. So I don't really care what anyone has to say at this point. You sent me home yesterday. You disrespected my views. You disrespected America's views. You disrespected everybody that is sick and damn tired of funding foreign wars while our border is being invaded. Guess what? There's some there's some uh, news this morning. Here's how bad it is. Not only are thousands and thousands of people flooding in to Eagle Pass, Texas, the Biden the Biden DHS just news out. I just read this. They they let two hundred thousand illegal immigrants. They didn't let them in the country by 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 a train, like you saw the videos of the trains coming from Mexico. No, that wasn't it. They didn't come up through buses that the cartels own coming to our border and then running across the border. No, 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 no. Two hundred thousand flew into our country. They came by plane. They bought a plane ticket. And doesn't their- that affect the Americans as well? You know, like. Us Americans, we travel a lot. We we do a lot. Um, so the two hundred thousand illegals that come in the airplane doesn't that affect that airline for me, the American people that have work and jobs to do? Home country, home country, and they flew into forty three cities. And guess what? Here's here's the kicker. You're not going to believe this. It, it happened on an app that the Biden administration has. They were able to come in our country illegally by registering on a Biden administration app. That's how they did it. This is how damn bad it is. We have people coming in. Planes, trains, and automobiles. And that's and another thing. Just, you know, I wouldn't care. Um, you know, this is this is quite crazy to me. Like, how do they expect us to be okay with this? Because we're not. The The problem I have with illegals is they're not coming into our country legally. They're not being vetted. They're not being screened. They're not, we don't know who's coming into our country. We just have them piling in. No way to know who all these people are. What if a domestic terrorist comes into our country? What if we start having bombings and 
and shootings and there's people already getting murdered by these illegals. So American people are dying because of illegals. And then when um, they come into the country and they're legal, these people have degrees, have, you know, jobs, this and the other. And when they come to America, they're not allowed to work for at least 10 years. They have degrees to do it, to work. But Biden administration is letting illegals in and give them, giving them work visa, giving them American taxpayer dollars, giving them homes, transportation, phone. Like, you people that have not woke up yet, what do you not understand? How can you have the luxury to not pay attention to what's going on around you? Just because you have that luxury doesn't mean that you should go off punishing every American. Y'all are ridiculous. This is craziness. Absolute chaos. Illegally invading America. And we have members of Congress that are so dead set on a war in Ukraine, which doesn't even border And that's our what I, like, why? Why are y'all so dead set on a war in Ukraine? Why? There's got to be reasoning behind it. Oh, human rights? Yeah, right. No, you're not for human rights because Kamala Harris took $60 million to... Um, Uganda, Africa, um, to bribe them, to bribe them to be okay with the homosexuality that's going on. Because they said no, no, no. And then she finally took $60 million to them to try and bribe them. How is that human rights? How? When you, you just alone on those actions, you're telling the Ugandans that y'all have no rights. You, you belong to America. You're supposed to do what we say. No, they're their own country. They don't have to do anything we say or anything we want to do. Anything. Come on. Country country, which is across the Atlantic Ocean, is over in Europe, that they refuse to take $300 million out of our defense bill. No, no, no. We can't address the border situation. So yesterday, we have Zelensky in the Capitol, standing in the Capitol in Washington, D.C. That's, That's why they had the $300 million in there. Because she just said, now we can't help fund the border. We can't help for the border, do anything for the border, because this bill didn't get passed. That's why they had that $300 million in there. That, and they know we have a deadline. And they want to be able to blame us. And they had to bring that bill to the floor with $300 million in it. And they wanted me to vote for it. Hell no. Hell no. And I'm glad I'm back home because I don't really want to talk to oh, anybody. Right baby. This, is, this is pathetic. This is the most America last thing I've pathetic ever thing you I've did. ever seen. And I'm furious about it. I'm so mad about it. I'm standing here going live on Twitter, going live on Twitter telling the world. I hope everyone knows how sick I and damn tired I am. I, I, am too. I have helped. I have Crazy. donated. I have fought for Republic, the Republican agenda. I have, I have stood too. by everyone. But when it comes to this, I've told them all year long, not voting for your stupid war with Russia. There should be a peace treaty in that country right now. I'm not voting to murder more people in the, one of the most corrupt countries I think on they're Earth. Pushing, I think they're pushing for some kind of war to happen with us. Um, you know, who, who wants to go to war? Nobody wants to go to war. But our government's so corrupt. 
Like, what are, what are we to do? Like, what are we to do? We have so many brainwashed Americans around the, the country that we probably would, would, we probably wouldn't even be able to stand up. You know, like, this is crazy. Put America first. Put America first. That's Our country is being That's all we ask. Is for us to be put first rather than everybody else. Invaded. Invaded. We can't even impeach Mayorkas. Can you believe that? Yes. We can't even impeach Mayorkas. We should be impeaching Mayorkas. We should be impeaching Biden over the border. Can't even do that. I want to know why. Like, why can't we do that? Because Biden is control of the border. He's control over the military. He's, you know, and that's another thing that I'm frightened about. Like, if something was to ever happen, the military is supposed to stand for the people, fight for the people, not the government. But it's so corrupt, and there's so many loony tunes and transgender people running around in our military now. It's all backwards. It's sad. But we have members of Congress, Republicans, with very red districts, very red districts, that are so dead set on they got to send money to Ukraine. They don't want it taken out of the defense bill. That's where it sits. That's where it sits, guys. That's where it sits. So, they're saying, if we don't sign it, saying, yes, we will fund Ukraine 300 more million dollars. We're not taking it out. So when deadline gets here, government's going to shut down and it's going to be your fault. Are we going to keep standing for this? Are we going to keep letting them do this to us? I damn sure hate. Uh, I'm about sick and tired of it. Everybody's going to be mad at me for saying all of this out loud. Don't let that, don't let that phase you no more bit, baby. Just keep on walking forward and do what you're doing because you're doing the right thing. To the public, but I really do not care. Let me explain why. I got elected from this district, the one I'm standing in right now in Georgia. Georgia's 14th district. Care about baby, yep. You keep on going and you keep doing what you what you're doing, Marjorie. I am proud of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And when I walk out of my house and I go in anywhere I go in my Thank district, you. you know what they say to me? Thank you, Marjorie. Thank you. And know what else happens? Elsewhere in the country, they say, thank you, Marjorie. Sick and tired. Americans are sick and tired of the America last Perth. Washington, D.C. federal government machine that serves the, the rest government of the world. Perth. The government tell- gets, not the American people. They're the ones that benefit off of us. And all we do is just drown. Tells Americans to go F themselves. Pay for it. And then they tell Americans to pay for it. Enough of this garbage. When is it going to be over? I want to know. What the hell are we going to do? I'm tired of all the talking. I want action. It needs to end right now. Here, I'll give you another little story. Yesterday, when I was getting on the airplane in Washington, getting on my flight, and I sat down in my seat, another member of Congress came up to me and was mad at me for voting no bill against the rule so on the defense bill. So I very loudly told him in front of everyone on the plane, if you want to vote for it, put it in a separate Ukraine. bill. You vote for the money to Ukraine. I'm not voting for it. I don't care. Absolutely not voting for it. I don't care what it's in. I'm not voting for it. Not voting for it. Not voting for it. And when he went by, guess he what? Everyone you. around me said, thank you. And I support you. Thank you. Right there. The corrupt people are coming up to you, being mean to you, wanting you to do this and wanting you to do that. Isn't that what they've been doing from the get-go? Like, that is the left literal liberals and uh, demon crats 
agenda. Push, 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 bully, 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 until we get what we want. That should be your initiative, Marjorie. Keep going forward because the American people you're standing up for and you see that they're very appreciative. They tell you thank you. Keep doing that. You will you will become someone better than what you are today. And then a couple of people got up and took pictures with me. So for those of you in Washington that are so thick headed and so America last that you think that we have to give in and vote for crap in these big bills. Oh, because the Secretary of deadline is coming. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't give a damn. We should have been in Washington getting our work done. And there should be a lot more people standing up like she is in our Congress, but there's not. Trump can't do anything because he got taken out. He's just, you know, a billionaire, regular old citizen. He's got his own shit to worry about. We should be in Washington right now getting our work done. And you want to know something else? You should respect members of Congress like me because we're working for the American people. And when we say we are not voting for money to Ukraine and we don't care. They know she's working for the American people. They know what she's trying to do. And they're trying to shut her down. They don't care about us. They don't care about the American people. They only care about themselves. And what they can do with all the other countries that dangle around us. What they can benefit from them. Zelensky's standing, Zelensky standing in the Capitol in his stupid green jumpsuit. And he can't wear a suit and tie as he comes and begs for money from us. People. Then you don't respect the American I've, people. I have absolutely I had enough. I don't absolutely even care had enough. I shouldn't have to. You still coming in a certain time? We still ain't want to give you no more money. You're very disrespectful sitting there threatening journalists, American journalists like Charlie Kirk, Trump, uh, Tucker Carlson. You're going to sit there and threaten all these people with your transgender uh, <laughs> spokesperson? Come on now. I shouldn't have had to do this video. I shouldn't have had to vote no yesterday. I told all of you the entire week. I told you in conference. I told the press. I told you to your face in meetings. I posted it on social media. I told you nonstop, not voting for this. Secondly, we have a weaponized government. A weaponized government. The Department of Justice is, is using its power to politically persecute political enemies. It's political for enemies. American. And I'm not voting for that either. I am so not voting for that. Yes. So if you want my yes vote, I've told you the entire time. They're screwed not voting that. for the weaponized government. I am not voting for COVID yes. garbage of any kind, mask, vaccines, new vaccines, any of it. And I am in not Ukraine. voting in for a war in Ukraine of in any bill. Of any kind. I'm voting for it. I don't care Thank how great the is. I'm not voting for it. Right. You people want to fund the war in Ukraine, okay. do it on your own. Don't ask me you to Take your out. own money. Don't take the taxpayer American dollars to go fund it. Take your corrupt money that you've laundered and go pay for it. That's what you truly want. Why are you making us pay for it? Why are we drowning right now? Why am I paying almost $5 a gallon of gas? Why am I paying almost twelve dollars for a carton of eggs? Eight dollars for a gallon of milk. It, it's crazy. You know, I agree with Mitch here. Why the House Republicans would want to defund the Border Patrol is beyond me. Well, it's beyond me that you don't want to go help at the border. That you don't want to help get our border under control, help the American people, and stop from them from suffering. That's why they want to defund it. 
They want to defund it because what we're doing is wasting taxpayers' dollars. It's doing nothing. Nothing. That's why they want to defund it. Again, Biden administration's fault. And there's another one right here. If their government shuts down, right here, the government shuts down, members of our military will be on duty, but not get paid. It's time for these extreme Republicans in the House to start doing the job America elected them to do. Let's get it done. Are you serious? Are you serious? Like, ah! like this shit is pissing me off. If the government shuts down, it's going to be the Republicans' fault? Really? The video I just did trumps that. This is just outrageous to me, people. You know, he can sit here and bald face lie and try to use reverse psychology on the American people. Like, you sit here and you say these, these retarded ass things. When I can see with my eyeballs what's really going on. You sit here and say this. I didn't even need to see the Marjorie video in order to know what he's saying on his tweets are downright wrong. Stop lying to the American people, Biden. Biden administration. Oh, I can't wait till you're gone. I can't wait till you spend your last days in prison taking your last breath behind bars. I would never say nothing like that to nobody. I don't wish nothing bad upon nobody. But I'm sick and tired of having to struggle every single day. I'm done.